While cruising the information superhighway, I happened across an interesting little article I was on ifuckinglovescience.com, which was detailing some information about a particular black hole physicist who was utilizing a whole shit ton of PlayStation 3s and combining them together into one big supercomputer. Now, keep in mind, this isn't exactly the first time that I've ever heard about something like this, or many people out there in general, because this has been done since, like, 2006, 2007, ever since the actual inception of the console in, into the mass market, they've been utilized for doing stuff like that because they were a lot cheaper by comparison to getting a whole bunch of up-to-date desktop computers and combine them all together and stuff. But it was interesting reading through the article because they had talked about how difficult it was to come across government funding, for example, for doing some of the important things that they have been for, you know, monumental breakthroughs for humanity. And, you know, government government funding just isn't there. And it's more ironic whenever you go and think about all the money that they do fucking waste on shit, but they won't fund things like this. But regardless, that's a different topic for a different day. But this was interesting in a sense that they were talking about getting together... Uh, it, what was it, a little over 200 different PlayStation 3s, combining them together into one big supercomputer so they could actually, you know, follow up on a lot of the research and findings from Albert Einstein, as a matter of fact, talking about gravitational waves and stuff. And it's interesting to think that a PlayStation 3, a system that I've played a fucking ton of games, like I have all my games back here, and people are actually using these because, you know, the, the original PlayStation 3s, you could put Linux on it. And that operating system in general is completely open so that you can do whatever the hell that you want. And it, it's a, a pretty difficult task being able to get all these systems to work together the way that they're doing it. I mean, like I said, this is something that's been going on since like 2006, 2007, but not to this magnitude. You know, having over 200 consoles all put together. Now, one to the downsides to this is they did go and bring up the fact that it lacks memory which has been a, a main factor within PlayStation 3 ever since it came out. Most people have talked about you know it it needed more memory but it was able to go and get around that through all the fucking really complex architecture within the system itself which was pain in the ass for a lot of people to get around but you know regardless whenever you see it adapted into something like this it makes you wonder how they're going to work on that. Now they did talk about how they might end up trying to go and utilize some kind of graphic cards and stuff. I don't know if they're going to use these in conjunction with the PlayStation 3s or if they're just going to abandon it altogether and find an alternative. But regardless, it's just neat to see that these systems are being used to fur further us on the evolutionary chain so that we can learn more about our universe, about our galaxy, about how things around us operate and stuff, and it's all thanks to a fucking game machine. And Sony themselves even offered up the PlayStations to them, not all of them, they ended up having to go and get quite a few of themselves, but it was neat to see that Sony was like, yeah, here, take some fucking systems and go and do your thing. And I thought that was pretty fucking cool, and it, again, you know, I fucking love science when I get to hear about stuff like this that's actually intriguing and also taps into something that I love a whole bunch, which is gaming. So I thought it'd be an interesting little article if you want. There's actually two different links down in the description if you want to check them both out, because the one's extremely lengthy. It goes and talks about one of the main researchers that I had brought up that was going on about all this and all the different stuff that he was dealing with and going on about it. It's, it's, it's a, a very telling thing about all the different shit that they have to go through, let alone, you know, just gaming and science, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, this is Alpha Megasin, as always, nerds, nerdettes, and gamers. Game the fuck on.